Look at the phoenix that just came into. I love the fact that on the menu here, like the the different beasts that you have in the vivarium and stuff like that, just come into the come into the menu screen every so often, which is dope. But welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We are going to be continuing on right where we left off in the last video. We probably only have a couple videos left, honestly. I would say, um, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm not exactly sure yet. We were just going to go and meet with Natty here uh, near Manor Cape. She's not too far away at all. So I said we'll go and meet with her now and uh, continue on right where we left off at the end of the last video. Thank you for all the support on this series, guys. It has been incredible. I've enjoyed every second of it. And uh, probably one of my longest series in a long time in terms of like how many parts I've done. Uh, and that's because I've been doing so much side stuff. Like I can't remember a series where I've done this much side stuff. Um before finishing the game. Like, Horizon Forbidden West, I platinumed, but I did a lot of the side stuff after the main story I had finished as well. But I did do a decent amount in that game as well, just because the side stuff in Horizon Forbidden West was uh, equally as good as this game. Now, Nazi, let's talk. I'm ready to finish Harlow once and for all. What is your plan? We did already. I received an owl from Mrs. Bickle. She wondered if we were having any luck going after Harlow. Suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it. Was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie. And that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle, did it? I do not believe it did. Harlow intends to ambush us. But now we have the upper hand. We can prepare. We are stronger than Harlow, and he knows he's, it. He's gone! That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. You know? We must go. Agreed. Let's finish this. I mean, it already is, but sure, let's do it. <laughs> I think this Harlow is just out of order. It's really today. stupid, but whatever. Perhaps we ought to inform Officer Singer of our plans. No. I already sent her an owl to let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will, but so be it. Hiding it from her. Okay. My mother needs to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashwinders until everyone is. I shall pursue them until they are finished. And I think she knows that. As do you. That I do. Alright. Keep an eye out. Hollow is likely around here somewhere. I doubt it. I sense he is close. I doubt I it. Because I killed him. I do not know. You should look around. Unless we didn't kill him, you know? Oh! Maybe I wanted to walk right into your trap, huh? You ever think about that, dumbass? Come on, boys. That's one down. No way I dodged that. Mata. I didn't even see where I'm going now. <laughs> nice. Bombarda. Nice. Nice. Come on. We only have one bloody thingy my bob now as well. Which is Nick Good, my friends. Wigan well potion, that is. Stop saying Petrificus Totalis. We get it. Is that glitched or what? There's no way she's actually saying this that much. She's gonna kill this bitch because she's annoying me. Oh my god, there's a lot of these fools. Nice. Nice. There's a lot of people here, huh? Shit. Did it? See you, buddy. Oh. Nice. Nice. Good block. See ya, buddy! Let me use that, as much of that as I can. Really? Come on. Nice. 
Shut up with your Petrificus Totalis, you little silly bitch, yeah. Come on, have that. Yeah, cocksucker. Nice. Gotcha. Gotcha. That was a crazy fight, though. Yeah, they did. They got what they deserved. It was a little trap. Little Nats Ionai, innit? And her excruciatingly loyal companion. This isn't even the same guy. I'm so stupid. It was Rookwood I was thinking of. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. <laughs> but I must gradually give you some I'm so credit. dumb. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Mm. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem-solving skills. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be tough, because I have zero now. Come on, Teophilus Harlow. Yeah, I was for some reason thinking Har it was Harlow Rookwood. I thought that was his name. For some reason, I, I don't know why I thought that. Like, I'm brain dead. Where the hell did he go? Freeze him. I'll hit him with a couple of uh, ghetto gospels. Damn it, he hit me at the same time. Any chance of getting a Wigan well potion around here, lads? Because I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do this whole boss fight without one. Nice. Nice, beautiful combo right there. Master got away. Enjoy that, Theophilus. All right, we have him halfway down. I don't know if I should focus Theophilus or or the ads, but I think focusing Theophilus may be the way to go soon. Well, it depends if more come after we kill this one. That could be it. I love how I'm not getting any Wigan well potions here either. It's bullshit. Nice, the pulse up. Beautiful, in fact. Beautiful. Nice. No, you idiot. Triangle. Okay, we got it. Nice. That was beautiful, actually. Boom. Jumping cabbages. Get him. Yes. Nice. Get him, jumping cabbages. Yes. No, wrong one. There we go. We got him now, surely. Nice. We've done this with one Wigan Well potion as well. I want to, I want to make that clear. I want to make that entirely clear. We are awesome. Nice. Nice. Come on, bitch. How's that not hit? Come on. You fight like a muggle. You fight like a muggle. I, I must be one pretty awesome muggle then, huh, bitch? Because I just defeated you, Harlow. You scumbag. How do you like them apples, boy? Oh, shit, we have to do this? Well, we haven't defeated him then. So he's defeated Rookwood. Now it's time to defeat Harlow. Ah, oh, gotcha. Still alive. Still alive. You giving up? No! Singer's so useless, dude. I would like to point out how useless Officer Singer is throughout this whole game, not just now, because I know she came late, but wow, terrible. Oh, she's in a wheelchair? Jesus, okay. Well, I guess it was serious then. Visit Natty in the I'm hospital room? I'm sure you are up for a visitor. Yes, mother. 
I feel fine, and it will do me good to see my friend. Very well, but do not overdo it, Natsai. I won't stay I'm too long. Mother. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, Hospital Wing, Offending Healer, Nurse Noreen Bailey, Patient Name Redacted by Order of Professor Black. Redacted by Order of Professor Black. The patient was injured during a Quidditch match, though in my professional opinion, a redacted by Order of Professional... Professor Black hardly counts as an injury. In fact, if anyone was injured, it was me, as I do not believe I've ever rolled my eyes quite so hard in my life. It is a wonder I can even see to write this note. Rather unbelievably, or indeed despicably, the headmaster now wants to cancel Quidditch, all because of a... All because of pure blood, redacted, went and redacted, before the snitch was even in sight. When I pressed the headmaster slightly, I was told, redacted. Staggering. So it seems like uh, it wasn't even a real injury, Professor <sighs> Black was just being an idiot. to see you, my friend. All right, Natty, what's up? I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. Thanks to you. Only because of you. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, I've had better days, but Nurse Blaney says that I am on the mend. I'm sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... You did what came naturally. I suppose it was instinct. Yes. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty. Of course not. Uh, there was nothing that you... Oh. Oh my. I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. What? He made a choice. Based on instinct, my father... You, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today. Thank you. I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. Facts. From what I know of him, it seems there's a lot of your father in you. That's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? Taking down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. I see, I, I thought they were the same person for a little bit. <laughs> but Rookwood's enterprise has fallen so apart. Stupid. Everything is safer now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveler, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Aw, that's kind of cute. Thanks, Natty. It's always good to see you. We've completed the Natty Oni uh, relationship, our quest line, rather. That's so awesome, man. That was that was really uh, really heartfelt from her there. So uh, let's go in here. There's a little there's a little uh, locked room. There's a note. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft, attending healer, Nurse Noreen Bailey, patient name Tasmina McLagan, or so we assume, age 13. Oh, so this is the, the note without the redactions. Notes the patient stumble in without a head after a head count of the dorms and absolutely no assistance from the headmaster. We concluded that the student was most likely Tasmina McLagan. Despite the obvious communication challenges, I was able to discern that the poor girl was suffering from vanishing sickness. I recommended that be she be sent to St. Mungo's at once. Partly owing to the time-sensitive nature of the diagnosis and partly because nearly headless Nick was floating around moaning on and on about how very lucky she was. <laughs> he was most distracting and if he disrupts my dealings with future headless students, I shall have no choice but to ask the headmaster to intervene. Addendum, I'm told that the patient is recovering and can be expected to return to the castle soon. Of no particular significance, Nick now seems to be avoiding me. One might assess that he's steeping himself in a somewhat childish skulk. Okay, very interesting indeed. A small little chest. Oh, yes. So, my girlfriend's been playing Hogwarts Legacy, right? And she knows what to do with these now. Which I I somehow didn't. What was it again? Um, oh, she might have been Levioso. Ah, there we go. See? And it gets you a field page. I can't believe I didn't know that before now. But, uh, yeah. There you go. My girlfriend's better in Hog at Hogwarts Legacy than I am. All right, field guide page, there we go. Boris the Bewildered. The statue of a lost-looking wizard known as Boris the Bewildered has perplexed students for ages. Is he coming or going? Is he at the beginning of a journey or the end? Perhaps we shall never know. Perhaps we shall never know. All right. Do we have Elohimora? Oh, that, we were here before, actually, I think, yeah. Near enough the headmaster's office, I think. We didn't have the capabilities to get into this room before, though, because we only had Elohimora 1. 
Now we have the second one. Mudiwa, I received your letter this morning and I'm thrilled to hear that all is going well for you and Natsai at Hogwarts. Even if Natsai has been a little challenging of late, I suppose it is only to be expected since both of our daughters are, how should I put it, strong-willed. We miss you at Wagadu. It is not the same without you, but we understand why you felt the need to move on. I do not think that I could have remained here myself under the circumstances. A life does send us all down such predictable paths, unpredictable paths rather. One never truly knows what awaits, not even to those such as yourself who have the sight. But I am confident that good things are ahead for you and Natsai at Hogwarts or wherever you may go. I do hope to hear from you again and I wish you the best of luck in the meantime, your loyal friend Amali. That's cute. Aloha oh more. shit. I need another Aloha more for this thing. It'll like cut out for a split second, but it doesn't cut out on my OBS. So you guys won't have noticed anything but just my monitor. <laughs> Strange. An unidentified face on him. What's in here? I hear stuff going on. Adventure novel set. Sketched inside the cover of this old, slightly worn set of uh, serialized adventure novels is what looks like a gazelle. Perhaps the novels were a gift to Professor Onai or her daughter, Natsai. That's cute. I think first things first, I'm going to head back to the room of requirement because we do have a few things we can identify. And I also want to get the Mallow Suite from back there as well. And then we wanna, we're going to go meet Poppy in the Forbidden Forest because I want to see this golden snidget. All right, there's some more Mallow Suite, baby. Oh, we got five leaves out of that. Hell yeah, dude. You've made marvelous improvements here. Thank you, Deke. I appreciate that, brother. Ooh, autumn jumper uniform. Great Quidditch gloves. Elegant shirt and tie uniform. I wonder which is better, the autumn tie uniform or the, or the autumn jumper uniform or the elegant suit and tie? Let's find out. Ooh, they're both fairly similar. Do we want to increase damage with Expelliarmus or Defindo, though? I'll take Defindo, but just because I think it's definitely a spell that we use a lot more. We don't really use Expelliarmus at all, to be honest. And we're halfway to level 30. We're popping off. All right, what next? I think we're going to go meet Poppy, as I said, so let's see. Uh, it's in the stars. Meet Poppy in the Forbidden Forest, where we met her the last time. And the centaur's here. Perfect. Hello, Did guys. Did you say they made it after you placed the moonstone? Indeed. Do you know why or what it means? Does it have to do with the snitches? The breadth of one's knowledge can be as wide as the seas, and yet only run so deep. All right. It's good to see you again, Doran. Did we look slick. About everything that's happened. She did, and I am glad to see that you are both safely returned. I did question the wisdom of sending you on a path at a time when that path was unknown at best, deadly at worst. But the acumen of the centaurs is neither personal nor partial. The skies tell us what is to come, and often we do not know what we have seen until it has come to pass. You knew the poachers would try and kill Poppy and me. I did not know, my young friend. But I shall say that I was not surprised. It was in much the same manner that I expected our first meeting. I don't suppose you'd like to start from the beginning. I think Poppy and I could use that. Of course. I find it is often the best place to start, is it not? Many, many moons ago, I divined a series of events. Their meaning long evaded me, until you brought news of the Snidgets and their poacher pursuers. I believe the symbol created by the Mooncalves dance marks the place the Snidgets are hidden. And serendipitously, I believe that I know the very place. Please, go on. I have seen that symbol only once on a rock face in the cliffs of the forest. You should make haste there. The Snidgets that have been kept there for so many years may no longer be safe. You said you were save those little Snidgets events before our paths crossed. What were they? I saw the arrival of a stranger, the threat of an enemy, and the return of an old friend. I believe now that you are the strangers. The poachers are the enemy. And the old friends are the Snidgets. I also Fair. saw two places tied to these events. The cave with the moonstone. And the henge. The latter was bathed in moonlight. What makes you so sure the symbol is where the Snidgets are? I do not know. It is what I have read in the stars. Fortunes play out as they are intended. I am merely a messenger. I shall say that fortune favors us today. That you would show me a symbol whose provenance I recognize is not 
coincidence, but fate. You know, I saw a tweet about this, guys. Where are centaurs' penises? You know? Is it a human cock or is it a horse cock? Like, that's what we need to know. These are the questions that I think J.K. Rowling needs to answer. Let's if find the Snidgets, right though. This place, then we should make our way there. I shall see you there. We cannot afford to lose don't the Snidgets see, once again. I don't again. see any penis room, like, you know? How do you reproduce, bro? I don't know. Good questions, right? All right, wait, what are we doing? Poppy, you good? Down in here. Meet Poppy southwest of Brockborough. Okay. We actually have Mallow Suite now, so we what could do this if we want to. This time. A Merlin trial? All right. What's this one? Rebellion. I don't see anything could, that could be a part of this right now. Do we see anything? Oh, wait, there's something. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. We need to get the ball in there. I'm guessing there's a ball up here somewhere, right? Gotta be up here somewhere, right? There it is. Ah, yes. Well, where the hell did that just go? I actually have no genuine idea where that ball just went. Rebellion. I think it like it genuinely just disappeared. It dissipated right now. What the fuck just happened? A ball is genuinely just gone. <laughs> what in the world just happened, dude? Like, it just disappeared. It hardly went down, did it? No, it didn't. Uh, cool. Well, we broke another Merlin trial. Great, guys. That's the second Merlin tri There it is! No, that's not it. Okay, I thought that was it over there for a second. Why do I always break the Merlin trials, man? That's the second Merlin trial we've just completely busted somehow. One way or another, we've just found a way to destroy these Merlin trials. I got here as soon as I could. Did you see the symbol above the entrance? It's the one the Mooncalf's made at the Henge. Ah. Of course Doran implied as much, but to see it up there. Could this actually be where the Snidgets mm. are hidden? Let's find out. Doran's waiting for us just up ahead. Oh, he's I'm here. ready if you are. All right, let's do it. Can you believe it? Actual Snidgets. Rebellion. I'm glad we seem to be a step ahead of the poachers. It is a little strange we haven't heard anything from them. If we're lucky, they're still poring over Graham's research. Hello, Nizzles. was a fair amount. We, on the other hand, had Doran to guide us. Even if the poachers do somehow stumble upon this place, we shall be long gone. I hope you're right, Poppy. What does this actually do? Incendio. Oh, Christ. Do I want to do that? I don't think that's part of this quest. I think that's just a separate thing. I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> Some ancient magic source, but I do not want to go fight those things right now. Hello, Doran. Greetings. I hope we haven't kept you waiting long, Doran. Not at all. Then again, it is not I who awaits your arrival. Do you have the Moonstone with you? We do. Good. It is as important to what happens next as both of you are. So what does happen next? What are these pillars here? I'm sort of puzzle. A safeguard, I suspect. There is only one way to find out. And as for how to go about that, the two of you may know better than anyone. Figure out how to enter the ruin. All right, we'll place the moonstone. Does that do anything? Okay, it lit up the sun and this thing here. Okay, where's the sun? Here, okay. So we want to bring this over here. Bombarda. Wrong thing. So we want that to be there, or? Wait, I don't know. I wonder if the pillars move at all. Yeah, of course they move, idiot. Okay, wait. That did it. Ah, nice. Doran, ha ha! That's cool the way that opens. I we all know what lies and now I'm afraid I must leave. At least for a time. You're not coming in with us. If the Snidgets are here, the herd will want to see the truth of it for themselves. 
Elec especially. Go on without me. I will rejoin as I don't trust Elec though. They probably want them for some sort of Revelio. little bitch purpose, you know? Since that's what he is. The Gilded Perch. All right. The Funk Soul Brother. Check it out now. Hello. Look hey, at the boy. They're all creatures. This place must have been built to protect them. They had nothing to fear. What? So many books. The Pope. You haven't seen my grand study. I mean, I literally can't even keep up with how many different goddamn things you're trying to say at once here. Come on, guys. I hate that overlapping the dialogue shit. The I get here is of safety and calm. Quite the opposite of the poacher camps. Confringo! Aha! Genius. And we're through. I'll wager this isn't the dead end it seems to be. No. Rebellion. Get through. All right, I think what we need to do is use this bad boy here anyway. Definitely. I think that one needs to be... Oh, no. That seems correct. I was thinking maybe that one would be over here, but... Doesn't seem to be the case. Here it is. Yes, that's what I meant to do. Alright. Yes, that's also what I meant to do. I'm pressing the correct buttons right now. Alright, what is this gonna do? I'm gonna open up the door, I would assume, somehow, some way. I heard something. I don't think that's on fully though. Whoever built this place certainly liked to read. And the books are all about creatures. Your gran would love it here. She would. I can't wait to tell her all about it. Sorry, Poppy, your gran's dead. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Who would kill Poppy's great gran? She's awesome. But you know what's not awesome? The fact that they just reset this for no apparent reason. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That really <laughs> helps me out a great deal. For no reason, they just reset the whole thing. That's awesome, guys. Thank you. Poppy, you good, bro? Poppy. Is that the Glacius symbol on it? But it's purple, though. Why would it be purple if it was Glacius? Oh my god, dude. That was stupid. Like, it's per the whole thing is purple. Like, at least this one's, like, orange, so it's the same... Hmm. I Look at I'm this dumb. place. Yes, hello crows. My own fault, I'm dumb, but whatever. I still don't have any bloody not door, not Oh god. Why do I still not have any goddamn Wigan Well potions? Like what what does a man gotta do to get some Wigan Well potions, bro? Nice bombarda. Rookwoods go down super easy. Because as we know, your master's dead, son. But hey. Nice stupefy. How do you like that, just stupid poachers? That was a beautiful little stupefy right there. That guy's done. See you, buddy. Stupid little stalker, bitch. You're done, son. Damn it. Oh, okay. It's the boys. You're a little late, guys. Gotta be honest with you. Why are you firing? There's no one here anymore. Oh, there is. Okay. <laughs> For the rest of your short life. <laughs> nice. Despicable scum is what you are. I don't have any wicked mounts. I'm dead. There's one over there. Need to get to it. Aha! Gotcha. Nice. 
Nice! Stupefy! Come on, boys. And I got another one now. We're, we're in business now. No, damn it. I didn't need to do that. Come on, bitch. What up? Oh, you do it on him? Come on. Idiot. Doesn't matter, that guy's dead anyway. <laughs> In the herbology? Is that what you just said, idiot? It's herbology. You like me dodging your incendio, bitch? You're dead. Good night, Irene. You hear, Poppy? Despicable. Despicable, you little fools, yeah? That was nasty. I think that was all of them. All right, we got him. Are the two of you unharmed? I had hoped to return before it was too late. Oh. We're fine, but if you hadn't got here when you did, I let them here, Doran. You fought with us against your kind. I am glad to have witnessed this. I now believe all that Doran told me. Thank you. Finish your work here, brother. All the events you divined have not yet come to pass. All right. That's one part of the door, door opened. Ah, huh. and that's both parts. Open sesame. Whoa, that door just sent me back. Is there a golden snidget here? This is going to be pretty magical, I think. Let's see. There. There they are. Cool. Only eggs, though. Now, all that remains is to break the charm. Poppy smile. Us too. You do it, Poppy. I only ever wanted to see them safe, which they are. You should do it. Ah, look at him. <laughs> the island, they're lovely. But what happens now? They can't care for themselves, and surely once word gets out of their reappearance. <sighs> no harm will come to them. The centaurs will see to that. You have my word. Thank you, Doran, for helping us to find them and to fight for them. It is you who deserves the merit, child. You did what the poachers would never have. Remember that. I'll be so small. <laughs> no. Are we going to take them to the vivarium or is Darren just going to take care of them? That is the question. You both fought brave. I don't think you can take them to Allow the vivarium. Allow us to carry the mantle from if it's all right, Doran, I think I'd like to stay behind and spend a little more time with the Snidgets. All right. That's good stuff. I think that's probably Poppy's quest line complete now as well, is it? You'd have to assume so anyway. All right, the final repository. I guess that's the final quest. Defend Hogwarts from Ranrock. Is that the final quest? We're about to do that. We're about to complete the game right now. I mean, this could be the final part. All right, guys, I just checked and this is I believe the final quest. If not, we're into the final hour of the game at least. I haven't checked any of the story points, of course, but I have checked just to see how long we have left. And yeah, we're at the end of the game, my friends. And that is incredible. Um, what a ride it's been, but let's let's go ahead and do this final quest.
Let's go ahead and just do it right now. I'm I'm going to the end. I'm here. And I am ready. I don't want to wait any longer. Let's do this. We've done all the side stuff. All the main side stuff, at least. 100% um, we have. Uh, we don't have anything with Sebastian left. We don't have anything with Poppy left. We don't have anything with, uh, with Natty left. So we've done all of that. Now it's time to do this, my friends. Maybe we will get another side quest once we leave this place. Actually, with Poppy or something. I'm not sure. Um... But I think we're going to complete the main story now, anyway. If there's anything left to do afterwards, we can do a couple post, post ending videos for sure. I'm down to do that. If if people want to see that, I'm I'm 100% down. You just got you guys just gotta let me know. You know, if you want me to do anything more, I'm 100% here for it, baby. All right, Fig, let's do this thing. It's been me and you from the start, brother. Let's go. Victor Rookwood is dead. He confronted me as I left Ollivander's with the Keeper's Wand. I had to defend myself. Godric's heart. Are you all right? I know you're well able to defend yourself. I've seen it often enough. But Rookwood himself... I have to defend he myself. He would have killed me once he found the repository, if not before. I had no choice. You're right. You had no choice. You did what you had to do. With Harlow in custody and Rookwood gone, the wizarding community owes you a great debt. Thank you for saying so, Professor. I'm ready for what's next. All right, then. The Keepers have been waiting. You have completed all of our trials, and you have done so under circumstances even I did not foresee. You understand now why all of this was necessary. The port key, the vault, the locket, the book, the trials, to ensure that one with the ability you and I share would make the same choice that San, Neve, Charles, and I did. Now that you have witnessed my memory, you understand all that is at stake. Not everyone is what they seem. As you know, light does not exist without shadow, nor shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Even the most well-meaning and competent amongst us cannot possibly know the consequences of manipulating what should be beyond our reach. What lies in the repository must never be released. Resist the temptation to destroy or control it. The magic that you have so carefully honed... So we don't want to destroy it either. ...must now be used only to protect the secret we keep. You have the wand. You will know when to wield it. We leave our legacy in your hands. Thank you, Rackham. Down we go, is it? How's that happening? Are we going into this water? Astonishing. Whoa. That oh, shh. Down under Hogwarts, of course. But well, we're already under Hogwarts, but down even further under. Down we go, my friends. This is uh, the final repository. Let's enter the Keeper's Cavern. I I actually don't have any idea what's about to happen. Like I can't even like I fathom what's about to happen. Enchantments protecting the castle would protect against an incursion from below. I fear they may not. Although, if they don't now, I can assure you, they will in the future. Dude, what am I Were doing? You able to reach Professor Weasley? I was. Hopefully she and the others will arrive soon. They know where to find the door through which we entered. I'm a moron. I just realized I did not get any more Wigan Well potions or anything. And I don't think there's a way in now anymore. I wonder if is here. I think, go. like, I can't... I can't back out now, like, you know? I probably should, honestly, just completely back out and reload my save and go buy here, some stuff. He cannot be far behind. I might actually do that because I'm not. I'm not going to be able to do this with three potions and shit. You know, I don't have enough. Let's All right, go. we're back to where we were. We have more potions now. I have focus potions. I have chomping cabbages. I have mandrakes. I have if it's uh, maxima here, potions. He cannot be far. Still behind. not that many Wiganwell potions, but should be enough, hopefully. West, professor. I'm going to still try to use them sparingly if I can. We'll have to get it over. Renrock will be pleased with our progress. 
The wizards win. What's up, little bitches? <laughs> How did that not hit you, by the way? That's some bullshit. What's up, little bitch? Nice incendio. That was beautiful, in fact. Gorgeous. Look at the amount of them. Holy shit. The frames aren't even able to cut this, for God's sake. That's ridiculous. <laughs> See ya. Nice boys, we're popping off right now. Nice boys, come on. <laughs> Sick. Press on. Ramrock must be here somewhere. This drill stands between us and him. We need to move it. All right, how are we gonna move this? One moment. Oh. Let's go. Okay, Fig. Fig got game. I see how it is. Professor Fig just moves a bloody three-ton drill out of nothing. Gonna be more here. Oh. Yep. Oh, yep. I see it. And I don't know. They arrive soon. Can't bring them. Someone's here. Someone's here. No way that still hits me, boy. I have to use my potion. Do a lot more damage when they're down to fair. Are they hitting themselves as well? I wonder. Nice. Is he, like, is he hitting the goblin there? I don't think he is, eh? <laughs> Loyalist scum. That was nice. That's one dead. Enjoy this, pal. Nice. Okay, everybody stay calm. Nicely done. Really nicely done. This one's almost down. Let's get it. Beautiful. Nice. Good shit, Fig. Let's go. All right. That's all of them dead. Get out of his weapon, please. A dead end? There's something to do with the frogs, potentially? I don't think so. Oh, thank God. A Wigan Well Potion. I needed that. What is this? What is this? Why is it like that? Okay, that was just a little reflection. Back up to seven, and onwards we go, Fig. I think we can get through over here somehow. That wall. That's the way forward. Very perceptive. Thank you. It worked. Let's go. Lots of wig and well potions along the way here, my friends. Which is a good sign and a bad Man, sign at the I'm same time. Closer to finding the repository. I fear you're right, Professor. There's nothing we can do but keep searching. Lumos! Stop saying Lumos. Why do you even have Lumos on right now? Not even that dark, Listen, okay? More goblins up ahead. Alright, let's go in stealthy. What? How'd you hear me there? Stupefy, baby. Bombada. Nice, boys. Come on. Nice. <laughs> you should be, mate. Nice. I love that Defendo. 
just beautiful, isn't it? No, wrong one. Nice, good shit, Vic. Bombarda. <laughs> that was just a fat combination, and here come more of them. This is just gonna be a bloody brawl here, isn't it? Nice levy also, actually. Not the Nepalza, though. Didn't realize how low I was right there. Nice. Nice. See you, loyalist scum. Level 32, by the way. Fucking hell. I guess we're level 30 now, so it's not too much of a difference, but still just seems like we've never really seen that high level enemies as of yet. See you, buddy. All right, that should be all of them now. We're getting closer, Professor. That way. Light it up, Professor. Light it up. Light it up. As if we had a choice. There's so many ahead still. Wow. So many enemies. It's insane. Holy shit, dude. They are just waiting for us. There's no way. What? Let's go. Was this the, the Avengers are coming in claw? Check it. <laughs> Let's go. Professor Sharp, Professor Weasley. We got the full gang here. Have somehow evaded the castle's defensive charms. Let's go, Ronan. We shall make quick work of them. Thank God this. Awesome. This is cool. Avengers! Assemble! We're in the thick of it now. Into the thick of it. Let's go, Wackit. Thank you. How do you like that, Apples boy? <laughs> Look how many of them there is here. That was beautiful. I love how Protego now knocks a, a load of them back like that. That's so sensational for this video. Or for this last quest, rather, I should say. Might have been the best I can do, but can you do any better, sir? I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure at all. Enjoy that little Defendo to finish you off. Good lord, you guys got wrecked. Look out! Another troll! This one's worse than the last two! Oh, is he? Stop him! <laughs> Who said that? Is that Professor Sharp right now? Coming in clutch with us. <laughs> Stupefy, baby! Enjoy that! You big fighter bitch, yeah? Nice stupefy, nice block. How did he hit me? Haha, <laughs> you loser. Nice, boys. This is clutch. No way. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, bro, are you serious? Didn't even mean to use it on him, but whatever. 
Not one of them out of there, at least. Whoa, whoa! Do you like that stupefy bitch? Let's go, Sharp. Another one? Or is this the same one? See ya. Uh oh. Whoa! Let's go, Weasley! Let's go! Blow the bridge behind us, Weasley. It's <laughs> a little wave back to the boys, and we're on our way. Epic. Oh, shit. Of course. We're going to have to fight those two big boys. Are they friendly somehow? Quickly. Expelliarmus. That door open, baby. Let's go. There it is. We made it. Ranrock's gonna be I here, though. We got here before Ranrock. How far before? I can't him, believe this is it. The repository has been under the castle for hundreds of years. Think of all the pain that created it. This is what Miriam, George, your friend Lodgok, and countless others died for. Miriam believed this forgotten magic could be used for such good. But she did not know the risks. She did not see what the Keepers have shown you. What Isadora showed you. You are now the Keeper of whatever power it holds. What do you intend to do with it? I plan to leave the repository as it is. I'm pleased to hear that. I've been thinking. What is it, Professor? I spent all year trying to keep our journey a secret from everyone, including Professor Weasley. But now I wonder if I should have shared it with her and the others sooner. Trusted them more. The Keepers wanted this secret to be locked away forever. How long will you keep it? I don't know. Like, does he mean, like, keep it secret? Like, is he saying it would be a good thing to maybe let Weasley in on it and let... I plan to keep it secret for now. But in time, when I am ready, I plan to tell those I trust everything and accept their help. I believe that is what Miriam would have wanted. Trust in we others. Trust in others. If anyone can rise to this challenge, my friend, it is you. Ranrock. Arrogance of wizard kind. Goblins built this repository. It belongs to us. Enough, Ranrock. It was never yours. I've been wanting to play with this. Miriam's wand. 
if she'd simply handed over the container. All of this could have been avoided. You son of a bitch, run rush. Self-important witch. <laughs> Seems you were two of a kind. She didn't know when to give up either. No. What in the world? He's a dragon. He's a flying goddamn dragon. What am I doing? What are we doing here? This is not good. Son of a bitch. God damn it, I keep pressing the wrong one. Because of course I do, mate. You protect yourself again. Not for long. Not for long. Ain't your magic, baby. Let's go, run, rock. There you go. That's how it's done. Nice. Kind of just got to step to the side. Nice. That miss. Come on. That's horse shit. Nice. All right. We got him a third down now. Third of the way down is completed. Places. Noise. Noise. There seems to be some fight in your of course there is, mate. No. Right on to the next area. I shall bring you on it. Come, Come on, big boy. What all you got? What the hell's the thing? I don't see a thing there. There's literally nothing else I can do. Am I supposed to just run down? Ah, okay. I'm supposed to just keep going, I see. <laughs> I'm stupid. I was like, I didn't know I could go further. I am stupid. Nice. 
Alright, this boss fight's a little bit boring, honestly, because it's just the same stuff over and over again, but... I mean... Whatever. We'll get it done eventually, I think. I don't think it's, like, particularly difficult. Maybe the last section gets hard. It's just more, uh, A battle of, uh... Mental capacity to see if you can keep going. Over and over and over again. The fuck? Whoa, what the fuck was I supposed to do? Jump over? That was kind of crazy. Come on, I pressed R1. Alright, we're nearly on to the next area here. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. There we go! Of course I do, mate. I know exactly what I'm doing. Alright, onwards and upwards, I suppose. I see a Wigan Well potion there, or am I tripping? I guess I'm tripping balls right now. Am I supposed to go down? Um, no? Where am I supposed to go here? No, I think I am. Okay, there we go. Down to the final part of the fight here. This is going to be the longest part. Even though the parts before have been pretty long, but this is going to be the longest part for sure. Oh, I can't even reach Glacius from here. Okay, you just got to get far away. Are you serious, bro? What? Are you serious? Dude, come on. Are you missing with them? Oh, that was close. Nice! The counter. Nice. Stuff. All right, we're gonna have to hit him with a couple, couple ghetto gospels here. Boom! What's up, baby? I will not. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Chill, chill, chill. Tens here and now, my boy. will stop you. Where's the last one? Come on. God damn it. No, really? Come on. We're gonna have to start again. You have to get all three of them in like a pretty timely manner, to be honest. Come on, big boy. Oh, shit. I'm going to stay calm. We still have six Wigan Well potions left. That's to be five. Nope, we're good. I have nearly an ancient magic as well here. That's gotta be it! Yes! Tell me that's it. Tell me we got him. He's not dead? What? Hero of Hogwarts. Defeat Ranrock. Avada Kedavra.
Not that we know how to use that spell, actually. Get out of here. How do we get these goddamn emotions back in... Back inside that thing now. With the wand? The noises. <laughs> Professor Fig, let's go. Professor. Hogwarts is about to collapse here if this if this I'm fig, man. Damn it, dude. That was sad. Miriam would have loved you. That that one that one hurt. <clears throat> Professor Eleazar Fig. I dare say he was a beloved professor to many of you, certainly a long-standing colleague to his peers. A famed adventurer and seeker of knowledge, he built a reputation... charging into the unknown, brazenly disregarding both discretion and safety, providing perhaps a rather unfortunate lesson for us all. His devotion to adventure was rivaled only by his dedication to Hogwarts. And of course, to his wife, Mary, uh, Midi, um, whom we lost much too soon as well. <laughs> I hate him. Professor Fig represented the best of all of us. Oh, he could be deviously clever, possessed a brilliantly inquisitive mind, and was the most loyal of friends. But perhaps it was his remarkable courage for which we will all be forever indebted to him. If not for Professor Fig. Well, I can say with confidence that if not for him, many of us, let alone Hogwarts, would not be here today. Those that knew him best will agree that we must now honor him as only Hogwarts can, by wisely, resourcefully, Justly and bravely facing all that lies ahead. 
to Professor Fig. R.I.P. Can't believe we lost Fig. I didn't know him as well as you did, but I know he was a good man. Glad Weasley spoke for him. She honored him well. Fig will be well remembered. I wish the same could have been done for my uncle. I wonder if there's a chance Anne would meet me. Sebastian, I can't imagine what you and Anne are going through. Perhaps you'll hear from her soon. I hope so. I. I'll let you know. Sebastian, there's something you should know. It's to do with Victor Rookwood. I heard a rumor that he confronted you outside of Ollivander's. Sounds as if he faced quite a fight. The rumors are true, and I did. But it's not that. Just before Rookwood attacked, he uttered something familiar. The same words Anne heard before she was cursed. Children should be seen and not heard. Wait! What... what are you saying? It wasn't one of Ranrock's loyalists who cursed Anne. It was Rookwood. It was Rookwood all along. This... this can't be. It was the loyalists. It's always been them. The night Anne was cursed, all she saw were goblins. Once Rookwood allied with Ranrock, Isadora's estate became of interest to them both. That's why Rookwood was there the night Anne was cursed. He was working with Ranrock. When he saw your sister, well, he didn't want anyone to know. So he cursed her, and she's never been the same. So cruel. Rookwood deserved what he got. Thank you for telling me. It wasn't a goblin. I suppose I owe you an apology. Mm. All this time I thought goblins were the enemy. But it was never that simple. Ominous said he's spoken with Anne. I wonder if she'll see me. I'll find out and send word when I know more. Do that. Oh, I definitely want to see what goes on there between him and uh, between him and Anne if they'll meet together. That would be incredible. And there you have it, my friends. I believe that is the end of the game, the main story at least. All right. Well. 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 Congratulations, you have completed the story of Hogwarts Legacy and reached the end of the school years. With your OWL exams fast approaching, now is a good time to review your field guide progress, explore the world, finish any remaining relationship storylines and side quests, and complete your field guide as you see fit. Well, there you have it, in the shadow of revelation. What a game. What a game. I'm, I'm probably going to save my full thoughts for a review, but man, what a video game. Meet Poppy in the Great Hall? Yeah, let's go meet Poppy. I want to see what she has to say. Be, uh, let's meet Poppy in the Great Hall and see what she has I to say. I about what you told me in the Great Hall. I would like to speak with you. Meet me in the Undercroft as soon as you can. All right, you know what? I'm going to save all this stuff for the next video. We've completed the main game. Uh, we're going to do a separate video um, after this, kind of dedicated to Weasley's Watchful Eye. Uh, no, that's actually a separate quest entire entirely. But In the Shadow of Friendship... And Poppy Blooms, I will definitely uh, check out in the next video. Weasley's Watchful Eye, uh, we'll go and talk to her. And I, I want to eventually do the owl exams as well. Um, to really, like, truly get the the true ending of the game, I would say, right? But, yeah, if you want to see more, you know what to do. Drop a like, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. It's been my pleasure to serve you all. Peace out. Thank you so much for all the support, and I'll have a review, as I said, in the near future. But I definitely want to continue on and do those side quests as well, so I might wait until I do those for a review as well. Uh, we'll probably check those out in the coming days. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace out.